Nilima loves programming. Given n and k to Nilima, where capital N means number of elements in array, and k is an indication for k largest elements. Now, help your friend Nilima to print k largest elements in their decreasing orders. Here, it means that. Nilima is given with the numbers capital N and K. And here capital N, capital N is denoting the number of elements in array. And capital K is an indication for K largest elements. Capital K is an indication for K largest elements. So K is representing largest elements now. Help your friend Nilima to Nilima to print k largest elements in their decreasing order it means in descending order now let's see the input format in the input format here we have first line of input contains number of test cases that's very much obvious that that's pretty much sure in each and every programming contest and then we have first line of each test case first line of again each test case it means we need to iterate for each test case First line of each test case contains capital N and K. So when I say cap for each test case, we need to iterate for these many test cases. So first line of each test case contains capital N and K. Okay. Now second line of each test case contains. So it's he's telling that here each test case. This is a very 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 beautiful word which I like a lot. So let me highlight this particular terminology. That is, so each test case, I love this technology a lot actually. Now, let's see the output format. In the output format, we need to print the K largest elements in decreasing order. We need to print K largest elements in the decreasing order. Now let's get more clarity by taking a look at the sample input and sample output. So here we have two. So first line here, we have something known as two. So what does this two is representing? Two means, it clearly means that it is representing the number of test cases. So let me write here. It means we have number of Test cases. So clearly, we have two test cases here. So what are those two test, uh, two test cases? So here we have our test case one. Yeah. So this is our test case one, and here we have our this is our test case one. And here we have another test case too. So let's, let me highlight this one also with the arrow mark. So here we have our test case one. This is our test case one. And we have here have our test case two. So this is basically our test case two. This is our test case two. Now, what is this seven five in the sample output one? Here, this particular seven five is the output for first test case. This is the output for first test case. Let me make it clear by writing here. First test case. Output. Output of output of first test case. And here you have 865, which is this one. So this is basically your output of second test case. Now this is the output of your second test case. Here's something like this. 
output of second test case. Now, basically, what is asking in this particular problem here? We will be giving an array. Will be given an array with its particular respective length. Will be given an array, and what we need to do is we need to make sure that we need to print the largest elements. How many largest elements we need to print? The k largest elements we need to print. Now, let's take a look at first test case. In this first test case, we have. In this first test case, we have capital N as three. So as our capital N is three, it means that it is the length of the array. Now, what is the length of the array? Length of the array is three. That's why we have three elements in the array. So five, seven, and minus one we have. So among these five, seven, and minus one, how many largest elements we need to output? That two in decreasing order, we need to output two largest elements. Now, what are the two largest elements in this particular array? We have seven as the first largest element and five as the second largest element. So hence the output here, seven and five. Is that cool, right? Now, let's take a look at the second test case. The length of the that is the capital N. The length of the array is given as five. It means that. We have totally five elements in our respective array, which is three, six, eight, five, and zero. Now, given a, this array with five elements, how many largest elements we need to output in decreasing order? We need to output three largest elements. Now, what are those largest elements here? So here we have your eight as the first largest element. After that, we have six as the second largest element. And after that, we have the five as the third largest element. So hence the output eight, six, and five. So it's very very simple, right? Now let me provide you another test case. Now let me see who will answer first. Suppose if I say I'll be I'll be giving you this array. Suppose if my test case will be something like cap my capital N. Suppose if my capital N is three. And my capital K is two. Now, my array will be. Let me consider. Let's say generally. So five, comma six, comma nine. So let's consider this five, six, nine are my array elements. Now, among these, how many largest elements I need to output? Now, in this array, totally two largest elements I need to output. Now, what are those two largest elements I have? What are the two largest elements I have? So here, my nine is the first largest element. Nine is the first largest element. And six is the second largest element. So for this, I'll be having the output as yeah. So for this particular test case, my output will be yes. You are guessing it right. For this one, my output will be nine and six. Now here, uh, let me take another test case. Let me consider another another test case. Suppose if my capital N is equal to ten, and my capital K is equal to seven. Now here, my array elements are something like this: ninety-eight comma fifty-four comma thirty-two comma. Twenty-one comma sixty-five comma zero nine comma sixty-five. So how many elements are there? One. So let me count how many elements are there. So here you have totally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
total seven elements are there still i need to write three elements after that i'll be having uh, let me consider 73 23 12 ah, so i'll be having 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 elements totally i have so among these totally k largest elements i need to output so among these i need to output totally k largest elements now let me see who will answer first. Let me see who will answer first. So actually for this, I'm leaving on you. Who will answer me first? Let me see that. So you need to guess this output. Guess the output for this test case. Guess the output for this test case. Yeah. And in the next session, we'll be discussing about the code, the logic, the logic of the program. Is that clear to everyone? Superb.